Poll question, what do you have for me? Okay, I have a couple options here. Uh, starting with the Astros-Yankees, do you, as of now, view the 2017 Astros as a legitimate world champion? Yes or no? That simple. No. But baseball does. This isn't like college. College, they'll take down your banners. I mean, asterisk. But with the Astros, nobody's taking away their banners. Nobody's saying, hey, you guys can keep your ring, but we're going to vacate. It's going to say vacated. And, you know, the commissioner came out and said it's just basically a, a hunk of metal, you know, this trophy here, which was a stupid comment to make. But you, you, you wanted to get information here, and you gave them immunity. That's what you got in return for this. Hey, we got the story, and nobody got punished here, except for a GM got fired and a manager got fired. Yes, Tom. How much do you or should you celebrate it if you're the Astros organization? Like when they have those reunions, 10 years, let's bring back those 2017 world champion Astros. Do you do stuff like that? Or you just kind of, we won in 2017 and let's not speak of it. Well, what would you do? You're an Astros fan. I think they should move on and uh, great. They, they got the banner up there, you know, hanging down from Minute Maid Park. And that's the extent of that. Do you consider them... Champs in 2017. I consider them less than champs. Less uh, I'm, than I'm, champs. I'm more on the side of the asterisk as opposed to a hard, they had no business being world champions. That's a little harsh. Here's Dusty Baker, the Astros manager. Nothing surprised me. You know, at least there wasn't any violence. I mean, you know, they can they can say whatever they want. And, uh, you know, it sounded like a packed house tonight, even though it wasn't. And, uh, you know, we kind of accepted, I mean, we kind of expected that. Uh, you know, reception. And so we'll probably get more of the same tomorrow and the next day. Here's Giancarlo Stanton, who homered last night. In your experience, Giancarlo, you're, you're a veteran. Have you ever heard something like that? Oh, no, no, no. The, that was, that, that was intense. You know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be on the other side of that. So, um, yeah, yeah, they, they brought some heavy. Can you think of a player who was beloved we love the story. The little guy makes good. Jose Altuve, have him at second base with Aaron Judge, and you'd show the height disparity. And we're like, God, that guy is great. Cover of Sports Illustrated. MVP. Face of the team. Clutch back in 2017, 2018, 2019. Hasn't done much since then, the last two years, but he's the face of the team. You know, Springer left. Like, Garrett Cole left. He's with the Yankees. That's another thing. Did the pitchers think anything was strange here? Like, let's just have some reasoning here. How about some common sense? You just say you're a pitcher. You're in the dugout. Not your day to start. And you're hearing bang bang, bang, and then all of a sudden somebody homers. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. It's good to see Verlander got some run support there. Bang, 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 double off the wall. Oh, okay. So nobody knew anything. Nobody saw anything. Except for the person who was the whistleblower is a pitcher, a relief pitcher, Mike Fires. He's the one who's ostracized with this. Narc. Yes. Like, you can't. There, there's a lot of things, you know, but you can't be a narc. You can't be telling people what happens in uh, in the locker room. And that's what Mike Fires did. Yes, Eden. Well, yeah, I mean, if you were a starting pitcher for the Astros, would you have a problem with it? <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Yeah, probably but, not. But, but nobody ever brought this up, I don't think, and said, uh, hey, how did you not know this was going on? See no evil, hear no evil. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just a pitcher. I don't know. It was just poorly handled. <laughs> Baseball it was poorly handled. And I know that they wanted, you know, all this testimony. And, uh, hey, I'll talk to you, but I want immunity here. All right. I would have said, if I'm the commissioner, look, I'm going to vacate that title. I'm not going to fine you or punish you individually if you give me information here. But you will be punished as a team. Because this was a team effort. And 
How far up it went in the food chain in the Astros, I don't know. I know the GM and the manager got fired. But I would have vacated. And I know you don't want to get into this because then you're like, okay, what warrants vacating something? This was a horrible moment for baseball, an embarrassing moment for baseball. And nobody paid any price here. And you get yelled at. If I'm Altuve and the worst case scenario is I get yelled at, they go bleep, bleep you, bleep Altuve, you got off okay. Yeah, McLevin. If you were going to vacate, wouldn't you? I know the Giants never won a World Series with Barry Bonds, but like, couldn't you argue that that team deserves some vacating or some, if, you know, they got to game seven, I think it's the Angels. Well, I can go back to Alex Rodriguez was cheating when the Yankees won a World Series. But this was a systemic situation. This was the organizational cheating. That's why I have to take away that title. It's not an individual. Like steroids, let's say you had the Texas Rangers with all of their steroid users. Let's say they found a way to beat the test and front office was involved in this. If they happen to win anything, then I think you have to look at that. Like, what is the punishment? Kept all your money? All right. Didn't get suspended. Didn't get fined. Oh, they're going to say mean things about you. Okay. Nobody's given any money away back. Nobody's giving away the title back. Baseball, baseball whiffed on this. And then for the commissioner to say that the World Series trophy is basically a piece of metal. <sighs> Rob did not, not one of his finest hours. Yes, we If you go back, oh, sorry. If you go back to November of uh, 2019, Fires was just doing a general interview with The Athletic. It was like an all baseball interview and they got into, you know, stealing signs and stuff like that. And he just said, yeah, I warned some of my teammates. And the story came out, and the next day, the Astros and MLB responded. But this story probably goes away forever without that. Yeah, McLovin. Did the, I think the world champion Red Sox got busted for sign stealing, too. So you're also opening a, with the smartwatch. So you're opening a Pandora's box. I mean, you'd have to vacate that. Maybe. I know. I know. It's if you go down the rabbit hole. But, but if I have an organizational situation here. But, but there's no deterrent. Like, what's the deterrent to cheat? None. I've said, like, Robinson Cano should not even be in baseball. If you get popped twice, like, get him out of here. Once, uh, okay, maybe my A sample, my B sample, all that nonsense. You get popped twice, get out of here. But there's no deterrent. Remember with baseball when they first started this nonsense? Donald Fear, the head of the Players Association, he protected all the cheaters. Because he said, well, only 5% cheat. No, that wasn't the case. So he's he's protecting them. And what did they do to salaries? Because their numbers were based off a of previous generation. Well, if Mickey Mantle did this and this guy did this, my God, he's worth this.